Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com and this is my CL600. Yes, it is crushed. So, this is basically this is the first video that I'm making of it. I'm, I'm going to fix it. So, long story short, I went into woods off the road and this is the damage so now we're gonna go over the car in its current condition before any kind of repairs well actually I did some repairs but not much yet so the first things first what happened was is the car was going straight then uh, I had to avoid the animal and I swerved and went into woods so there was this, the tree sitting sort of like pointing it was on the you know it was down and it was like pointing this way and the tree start hitting the car as you can see the damage is starting from here and then as more it was going into the car into the sheet metal it actually hit the wheel the whole suspension just ripped out the wheel was about like that that much away like that far from the car it was just like with suspension control arm and everything it was just laying there completely disassembled both struts left and right rear struts completely sheared off <clears throat> broke off um, the other side control arm was still holding on this side just ripped out so here's um, some parts here you can see oil cooler was damaged so I have another used one for now just to get the car running. Um, this is one of the link, like this is one of the control arm links. As you can see, it's bent. It's supposed to be straight. Uh, these are. This is uh, the the, uh, the toe. This is the toe um, shut, uh, whatever camber arm, or whatever. These are lower control arms. This is the one that was ripped out. As you can see completely ripped out and bent passenger side and the driver side was bent like such so everything is all is very bad in the way those are pieces of the shrub and springs and whatever left off them as you can see that's the uh, passenger side completely ripped out some other little parts laying here and there I cut some sheet metal both rims cracked Rear, rear rims front ones are decently okay but obviously they're not usable I'll show you some rims obviously the cover here is broken off let's see if I can get some rims on the cracks of the rims so here we have one of the rims cracked completely like bad okay so <clears throat> That's that. So that's the damage. So what was done currently? By the way, the windows open and close, believe it or not. This window opens and closes just fine. This one is a little messed up because uh, the little support is all bent there. Like this is the crush support. Airbags deployed, except for the dashboard airbag, which I'm really happy with this airbag did not come out <clears throat> uh, mirrors work suspension does not work of course because no pressure bumper took a hit when I slammed into the as you can see you got bumper ripped out that's an oil cooler I put in there right now <clears throat> lights screwed up here uh, the suspension control valve on the front is okay the other side of the vehicle is just fine. <clears throat> Roof is not buckled or anything. Suspension is low, but I have inserts just to keep it up so I can drive this car on the trailer and back. Let me see if I can show you the suspension supports. I don't know if you can see them, these pieces right here. See, these are, these are like emergency operations so you can have the car not hitting your, um, not hitting your wheel wells so this wheel is crooked uh, the there is no shrut in there really just pieces of it control arm I 
lower control arm was installed but still the wheel is off the bumper is a little bit off I mean not the bumper the the trunk but again all of that is going to be done whenever I'm going to get the parts car so once the parts car is available then I'll get it going now because upper links ripped out I just have this wheel tightened up with the rope and I had another used strut that I put in because there was no support I just put in I didn't connect anything just put the strut in just to let it be so for now <clears throat> this is how it, it looks so and then what we're gonna do next <clears throat> let's open the trunk <clears throat> Come on, open, open. Well, it doesn't want to open anymore. Let's open it manually. Let's do that. I'm just gonna put the key in there. It used to open, but again, I mean, that's just like damage, damages. Come on now. And there is our trunk. Now again, the car is it's disassembled partially just to see to the extent of damage so what we have we have a little bit of folding on the floor here the major damage was in this area because when the wheel hit it basically bent everything under this battery the battery was crushed and it does not fit in there anymore so this whole quarter panel area is completely destroyed um, Everything on the frame seemed to be fine. Even this plastic piece is all in one piece, except for like a little crack over here. Some sort of a stress happened to it still, probably because the floor buckled here a little bit. But um, it doesn't seem to be too bad. My guy is gonna is going to cut whatever he needs to cut. Once I have a second car, I'll just cut pieces off it, and that's our. Oh yeah, the passenger side does not have brake caliper. It only, I blocked off the line with vice grip for now. As you can see, vice grip over here. I don't know if it catches or not, but here's the vice grip. It basically blocks off the brake line. Everything leaked out, brake fluid leaked out, so I had to uh, get some sort of braking at least on three wheels, so I put the fluid in and, well, right now it breaks a little bit. Uh, some spare parts in terms of operation So here is inside of the vehicle as you can see door closes just fine um, The frame here seemed to be in one piece not bent So the window regulator in the rear is fine airbags of course deployed so we got that area right there is decent I don't see any kind of damages there. So that's basically how it looks. And what do we have here? As you can see, engine starts and it runs. AC works, radio works, windows, like I said, work. There was a little bit of a leak. This broke off actually. Well, that is not broken. That's, that's just a uh, God given. Um, roof airbags came out as well, but curtain airbags, but it didn't damage the headliner, which can be put back in place. Engine was warmed up a few times, and I actually drove this car around just to get it to sit properly, facing the front of the, you know, facing the road, because when I was towed here, it was parked the other way. So, <clears throat> it starts, it runs and it drives, but obviously 0.5 miles an hour. So, this one takes a little bit of time for some reason, there's some leaks there for sure. Well, anyway, this is the damage. This is what happens when you're being stupid. I should have just killed the animal, but I didn't do it. So, I mean, I don't like killing animals. So, <laughs> that's what happened. But, could have been going a little slower. Well, anyway, so this is the first part. This is Victor at historiamercedes.com. Thank you for watching.